Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to live stream on YouTube using OBS, and this is very easy. So we wanna to go to uh, google.com and just type in OBS on the top. So we can get OBS Studios, and this is available on Linux too, so if you're using that, very easy. We could just go to simply download right here, and then it will bring us to this uh, link down here at the bottom. And we have these options, uh, the download installer, BitTorrent, Zip, you can get it from the Microsoft Store, Steam, I think you can get it through Steam. Let me just click on this. And apparently you can, you can just get this through Steam. So uh, choose your download method. Over here, you can download the installer, see if this just pops up for us, and it does. So choose your download method. And uh, maybe you just wanna get through Steam. I would probably do that. <laughs> Once we have it on our computer though, uh, it makes it very easy. Now there's also another um, OBS. Uh, it's called Streamlabs OBS. And I don't believe I have this on my computer at the moment. However, this is gonna be similar to OBS, except it's gonna come with additional things uh, like a store. And uh, there's gonna be more to it. And you might like this version a little bit more as well, but it's pretty much functionally the same thing except it comes with more components to it and a store. I like OBS because there's less uh, involved in it and it's just pretty streamlined. So once we have OBS installed on our computer and you can see I got it right here, uh, what we wanna do is set up our YouTube account with it. So there's a couple different ways we can do this. If we just go up to file, go to settings right here, uh, we can go down to stream and we can go to service and go to YouTube. Then we can go to connect our account right here. And once you sign in, it should be connected and you should see the live chat here on the right side when we actually go live. Now there's another way that we could connect our accounts. You could use a stream key. You go to use stream key advanced right here. You can copy paste your stream key into here and then you should be able to connect it that way. So to find your stream key, uh, it's a little bit hidden. We go back over to YouTube. And uh, we can go to the top right on our page. So let's just type in YouTube. Or we can just go to uh, our live streaming section right here. So what you want to do on the top right, it will say create. So you got a YouTube video up or something like that. It says create right here in the top right. Go to where it says go live. Once you go to go live, wait for this to load. And at the center of the screen, it's gonna say like, um, how to use the encoder or something like that. And we can go over to it now. So this is the go live section. We can go to how to use the encoder, go on down. And right here is our stream key. You can see it's hidden. You don't wanna give that to anyone because then they could start live streaming on your channel basically. So go to copy. And then we can bring this over to OBS now. And we gotta go back up to settings and wait for this to load, go to stream, YouTube, advance and copy into here. And I think it still makes you sign in. So I don't think someone could just copy your stream key anymore and just start streaming from your account. So it's a little bit more protected than it was in the past. Now you have to sign in with your account to get the live chat and stuff up, which is very useful. Uh, this is how you'll uh, see the chat. And then uh, we can go back over to YouTube. And once we get everything set up, uh, we should be able to see the chat on here too when we're live streaming. So you can see top fan. I believe we can actually go to uh, participants and we can see people under here and we can make them moderators and stuff, community moderation. So we can go into this a little bit more in depth. So we got the community moderations. I believe we can assign uh, users under here. So yes, you can. So you can set up moderators under here by adding moderators and uh, you can ban specific words and stuff on there. So you, if you want specific words to be bleeped out, uh, you can do that there. And then we can go on down under here. We got our stream settings. If you want low latency, where you can just, you know, if someone types something, you'll know right away and you'll be able to respond. Otherwise, uh, normal latency, I think there's like a 30 second delay or something like that. 
Then also you need to uh, decide if you want to onlist your stream. It will pretty much mean uh, it won't be public to everyone once you get done streaming. You got your analytics right here. And you probably want to go to edit and set up a title for the stream before you start streaming. Uh, if you want it to be public right away, I'd make it public so people can see it. Uh, if you are doing this the first time, maybe make it unlisted so you can kind of like change it around. Uh, but make sure it's pub uh, public, otherwise people won't be able to see it. And then we can um, go to the category gaming. We can put in our thumbnail right here. We can put in the title of the game. I think like Halo Infinite. Would that work? Right here. And then it'll list it under the Halo Infinite section on YouTube for live streams. Put it into a playlist. Then if you get monetized, uh, you can enable monetization right here. And if we go to customize, you got live chat turned on and live reactions. So just look through this. And here's a redirect. So once you get done streaming, let's say you got 20 people watching you, you can redirect your live stream to another specific channel. So that's good to know about right there. And uh, once we got everything set up, that looks good. We just need to go back over to OBS. And we have to set up OBS with our capture card and whatnot. So it could be a little bit difficult depending on uh, what you're trying to do. So uh, you're probably going to want to go down to the plus icon right here and set up a new scene. So let's just do YouTube scene or something like that. And uh, now this is completely blank. We want to go to sources plus icon and we have to add our game now. So depending on what you're trying to do, if you're playing from the PC, you could do window capture, view capture card. Uh, we could do display capture. So that's what I do sometimes. I just capture my display. So let's go to window capture. And maybe we're playing like Leagues of Legends. And you might want to do a, uh, a, just this kind of capture because if you have window capture up, let's say a text message pops up on your phone or something like that and it displays on your screen, everyone's going to be able to read that. But if you do the game capture, uh, you're just going to capture the game. And any kind of thing in the background isn't going to be picked up. So that's why I like this a little bit more. So now we have to go to this and we can pick the window. We can pick the specific game under here. And we got the capture method. If it's showing up black, you could try doing bit bit, Windows 7 and up, or Windows 10, 1903 and up. And then we got force SDR. Everything looks a little bit weird. So you just have to capture your gameplay in some capacity uh, through one of these different capture options. So either uh, you got window capture, video capture. I think they have game capture. That honestly would probably be the best one because it's just going to automatically detect whatever game you're playing. So go to game capture. Just look at one of the different captures. Uh, game capture is probably the best for gaming. And then you'll probably want a scene over here. Like I have monitor one, two, and three set up so I can just switch between everything. So do game capture and then a specific monitor, have that set up. And then um, here is your microphone down here. You see my microphone. So we probably wanna go to the microphone and add some filters to it. I have like a compressor, a noise gates. So this gets rid of back, uh, background noise. So you can just go to the plus icon, noise suppression, noise gate, compressor sounds pretty good. Um, and then I got a gain. So you can just mess around with that too. That's what I like. So here's my microphone. You want to make sure this is adjusted left and right. So it's kind of like in the yellow section right here. So you can just slide this so your microphone is uh, loud enough. You can mute your microphone at any point in time right there. And then you won't hear it. And then you probably want to do that for the desktop audio. Or you might have your game audio in here too you're gonna see it going up and down. So just make sure you can see that. And then if you're trying to add um, a video capture card or maybe even your camera, go to video capture device and then I go through this and you can choose your video capture card. Here's my HD camera. It looks like it's messed up resolution, but I can go to my capture card under here, Live Gamer Ultra. I can specifically add my PS5 in with that through this method. So here's my, um, my camera on here. I might want to go down to just the resolution, do a custom one. For some reason, it wasn't showing up. I think I can do 1080p. 
And I want to do highest FPS for my camera. And you can see this is going to look a little bit better now. And I can choose a different color. I can do a different color range too. Is it limited or full? It just doesn't look so great. And you might have to go into your specific camera options on your computer to get this set up. And sometimes I like flipping this too. Oh, not I don't like flipping that way, not vertically. I like flipping it so <laughs> horizontally. So this doesn't look so bad. It's kind of like uh, very bright on my screen right now though. So we can just manipulate this and put it over to the side here or something like that make a little bit bigger. But uh, when you're finally ready to go live, you see these options on the right here. We have start streaming. So I'm not gonna press that button, but you can start streaming. As soon as you press that, I think there will be one more pop up, but you're gonna be going live uh, when you press this and then you have to press again to stop it. So you should be able to see your comments right here, or you can just go back to YouTube. You can see your comments on this screen. Just make sure you end your stream when you're doing this and then you should be good to go. So we got all these different options right here. So just look at that. Easy to start streaming from YouTube, but hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out. If it did, leave this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.